Hey man, what's good, YouTube family man? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop, man. First of all, smash that like button, man. Hit that notification bell, man. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll bring you more great videos continuously, man. Fuck with your kid, man. We gotta talk about it. First of all, man, rest in peace to Josie Harris. That's the baby mama and ex girlfriend of Floor Mayweather. But we're gonna talk about things. Um, she was found dead today in her car. And if y'all don't know who she is, she's the one who got Floor Mayweather arrested and all the trouble. She's the mother to three of his kids. And she was found dead. Hey, before I start the video, let me just say one thing. Hey, Floor, I know child support is crazy, my nigga. Please don't tell me you had anything to do with this shit. Now I'm going to get into it. First of all, man, rest in peace to her for real, for real. But I do believe in karma. Like many of you guys don't realize this lady was a headache. She's the definition of what um, the, the phrase of crazy baby mamas and all that. And the fact that she used race and everything to play to her favor. Because in this country, we always cater to women. And let's just be real, I don't like using a race card, but especially when you black, a woman has more chances to gain an advantage on you, meaning with the authorities and the laws. That night when Floyd pushed her, people didn't bring up the fact that she was coming at him, hitting him with almost a knife, trying to swing it at him. And it was it was a two-day process he was going into it with her. It was fights about Floyd Mayweather income that he's not paying her or whatever. He snapped because she kept going over and over on the blogs. Y'all forgot, for like seven years, nonstop, she was going on every show talking about Florida. Nonstop. This nigga is wealthy, and she still wasn't satisfied. Look, when a woman is scorned, she will fuck with you, fuck with you, fuck with you, till she mentally destroys who the fuck you are. Facts. She will end your life just by... Getting rid of your mindset and who the fuck you is in real life. And with the Floyd situation, Floyd tried to go through all the interviews of, of how he could handle her to the one day he flipped and went to the house trying to see his kids. She made a whole scene. He just pushed her off him. And because he pushed her, that counts as assault. Not that he's defending himself, which is fucked up. He got a charge, had to say he's guilty, and did like a month in jail. All because of this lady. I'm not going to call her the B word because that ain't my baby mama. She ain't did nothing to me. But I don't like females like her. I'm not going to lie because she's dead. Now we're going to talk about her in a good light. I never liked her. Just her whole vibe. I'm like, damn, another interview? She wouldn't stop. Like, don't you bitches know that you would be nothing if it wasn't for the men you with? Not all women. I'm talking about women who are literally nothing. And then the dudes they're with. He busted his ass working hard and do all this. He brings fame and wealth into your way but on every fucking interview. He does nothing for me and the kids. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I have a lot going on and he's bothering me. You think a wealthy nigga is worrying about your poor, broke bitch ass? No. But you talk to any of these thoughts, they got this perception in their mind when they with these celebrity dudes. You talk to any of these thoughts, you would think that the celebrity dudes are some nuisance scrub ass nigga that's bothering them. Yeah, and they're and they're the rich ones. I was gonna pour something for her, but I'm not fake like that. I'm not gonna be like, man. Uh, look, if Floyd did have something to do with it, and I knew about it, I would never tell y'all. In fact, if Floyd did really do it, congratulations to you, Floyd. I'm cold-hearted, man. To people who fuck with people in real life, it's just facts. I'm cold-hearted. Like, if I was fucking with people like that in real life, and I died the same way, don't feel bad for me. How you feel bad for somebody fucking with somebody and then when karma gets them, everybody want to cry and now it's time to pour out the liquor and all this shit. Nah, man, I'm going to drink my yak and I ain't, I ain't pouring shit out. I'm going to sip. I'm going to drink every single ounces of the yak, everything that I paid for. This bitch don't deserve it. You put that man through hell. And without even realizing it, you destroyed mentally a part of your kids that will never be there anymore. You let them be introduced to shit that they shouldn't have to deal with. Now niggas gonna be calling their father a mother killer, a mother abuser, all this shit. And they've been doing it for years already because of you. Stay out the fucking scene, bitch. Nobody needs to know who you are and this and that. Nobody knew you before this nigga was fucking you. And nobody really knew you like that after he was done with you. But you just gonna keep fighting and fighting to make yourself another loving hip-hop bitch, right? 
Josie Harris found dead today. When I heard that, I said, God is good. When they said she was found, I'm, I, I keep it real over there. If you're too sensitive for this, look, I, I support you. You can still rock with my channel, but just hop your ass off this video if it's too sen you too sensitive to hear all this. I'm not a fake nigga. I got my baby mamas in order, so I, I'm, I, I didn't reach a boiling point with my baby mamas the way Floyd has. Have I been mad at my baby mamas and shit like that? Yeah, but I take care of what I got to take care of. I get them uh, um, situated. You know, I handle my responsibilities. But what happened about the men who do all that? I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Floyd. He does what I do with my baby mamas. But he's in a fucked up more situation. He has wealth. I, I, I'm doing good for myself. But, you know, my baby mamas live in a real world. If you fuck with me, your kids lose. So they're not dumb enough to do that. But when these celebrities have babies with these ain't shit women... They don't care about the fucking kids. In fact, they got with you in the first place because what you could provide for them, your notoriety, your fame, all that, etc., etc. The kids are in the back burner to that bitch right now. When I see these bitches do this to all these men and shit, I always say, don't you give a fuck about your kids? So when you're looking at your kids every day, you don't say in your head and process the thought, this is the father of my kids. Bitch, well, you're dead now and you're gone. I don't feel bad. I don't have no anger towards you other than the anger of what America has allowed sluts and thoughts like you to continue to do over the years. And that's the run ramsack of, against people who are trying to be great fathers. I mean, Floyd is probably not a good husband. He's probably not a good boyfriend, probably not a good baby daddy to you. But he seems to be a great father. And that should be the objective. It shouldn't be satisfied his thought. Until she feels sophisticated. Look, bitch, because I fuck you don't mean you own me now. Because I fuck you don't mean I, I move at the process of your finger. Everybody trying to call Floyd a woman beater. Have you lived with the bitch he was with? No, right? Then shut the fuck up. I'm not going to shed a tear for her. I hope a lot of baby mamas watch the story of Josie Harris and they end up getting scared. And say to themselves, maybe God don't play when we do this child support and we keep the kids from the fathers and we cause trouble. We do interviews about our baby daddies. Maybe that will scare all these other ratchet baby mamas from doing what Josie Harris did when she was alive. Maybe God would have given her more blessings if she would have worried about being a great mother and a partner with Floyd to the kids instead of being a nuisance, a motherfucking bitch that's going to put her entire family on the news again. Maybe that's why you died. It's a wrap, man. Love your family. Love your kids. Stay blessed, man. I'm your God blessed one. Like, share, and subscribe. Man, I'm supposed to cry for some, some, some thought dying in her car. Nigga, God did that.